What's up everyone, Tejo here and this is my first Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create a simple login program um, in Visual Basic. Now I'll be using Visual Studio 2010 Express in this video so yes this works with all the other versions of Visual Basic as well. Now if you're wondering why I'm not uploading videos um, regularly then I have to tell you, uh, if you don't know yet, I posted it on my Facebook page and I'm, I'm actually creating a new software, uh, Keylogger, so I'm busy with that work and uh, due to which I'm not able to upload any videos and also that's not only the, that's not only the reason, um, I'm busy with my college work and all, well, um, anyway, let's get started. Um, so as, you, as I told you, I'm using Visual Basic 2010 Express, okay, close. Now, um, let me create a new project and uh, let me call it login program. Here we go. And now let me add two labels here. And uh, Let's keep the text of text of this as username, and let's add another similar um, label, and let's set this text to password. And yeah, now we are creating the registration window so that a, the user can actually create a username and password before he can log in with his credentials. So using this, we are creating. I mean, in this form we are actually creating the register program register form okay so um, let's add two text boxes and also make sure that you make this text box multi-line so that you can um, place it I mean you can adjust it to whatever size you want let me add two text boxes and let me call the first text box as username text box let me give its name as username username field okay sorry field and let's call the second text box as password field okay now let's add a button so that the user can click on it after he, he um, enter his username and password And here we go this is the button and uh, let's give its text to let's change its text to register or simply save okay now we are all done with the design of this form and uh, yeah let's change the name of this form to um, register and as you could see the name of the form has been changed here okay now let's go to uh, project and then to login program properties now you'll see the name of your uh, program over here uh, followed by properties so you gotta click on that and this will open something like this now you gotta go to settings and over here you gotta create two new settings uh, the first one call it as username and give its type to string and uh, um, leave this empty and then create a second one and name it as password and give its type to string as well because we're gonna store some uh, a string value there and leave the value empty now we have successfully created two, two uh, new settings uh, username and password now let's go back to our form one and let's um, code this save button uh, just double click on the save button and yeah now when the user clicks on the save button his credentials I mean his username and password should be saved um, for this program and yeah now we're gonna do that we're gonna learn how to do that okay so okay let's go and double click on the save button and uh, we got to make sure that the not that none of the username text field or the password text field are empty so only if they are not empty then we can 
save the username and password so to do that uh, you gotta give a if statement you gotta say if not username field dot text the username field is actually the username text box the text box which we have created earlier is equal to um, empty and not okay so okay let's say this and let's declare a variable dim a as integer forgot to do it equal to zero okay and if not username field or text equal to empty then we gotta we gotta give the value of a equal to a plus one or you can just say a plus equal to one and we also got to check whether the password field is empty or not so we got to give another if statement we got to say if not password field dot text equal to empty then we got to say a plus equal to one and you can do it in other way as well like you can combine these both if statements you can say if not username field dot text and uh, password field dot text is empty then you can directly um, give the rest of the code there but uh, this is a logical way to do it so i'm gonna i declare a variable a as integer and i'm gonna increment its value only if the username text field is not empty and the password text field is not empty so if both the username text field and the password text field are not empty then the value of a will be 2 so if you get, if you see here the initial value of a is 0 and if the username text field contains some text then the value of a is going to be incremented by one which means the value of a will be one and the next thing is uh, it, it checks the password text field and if the password text field contains some text and it's not empty then the value of a is going to be incremented by another one and the value of go a is going to be two now so we gotta give another if statement here we gotta say if a equal to two then we gotta say my dot settings dot username equal to username field dot text and my dot settings dot password equal to password field dot text and then my dot settings dot save what we did here is so as I told you if a is equal to two then none of the uh, username none of the two text boxes that is the username text field and the password text field are empty so in that case we are going to save the credentials so what I did is I I called my dot settings dot username I assigned the value of my dot settings dot username with the text present in the username text field which means the username is now saved in the username username settings which we have created earlier and the same is the case with the password and after I uh, gave these two statements i gave the third statement my dot settings dot save which is going to save the uh the two above statements that is uh, the username field and password field so your the credentials are not going to be saved permanently uh for that um computer or for that user let's say so um we are all done with the register window now let's create a login window um let's go uh add a new windows form and let's okay let's leave it as form 2.vb let's click on add so here is our new form and uh, as we did before let's add two labels i got to extend this a bit okay okay let's add two labels and let's change the text of first label to username and uh, let's add a similar other um, label and let's change the text of this one to password okay um, let's add uh, text boxes now let's make these multi-line and let's adjust them so that it looks good not messy so we have two text fields now um, now let's add a button 
so that the user can click on this button to log in and here we go let's change the text to login so we are all done with the design of the login window now now we gotta uh, go to the coding part and uh, give it some code so that the user can only be logged in or uh, if he enters a exact username and password well okay let's go to the um, login form let's go to the login button let's double click on the login button and here we go and uh, yeah as I did before let's do the same logic we gotta declare dim a as integer and in the button uh, for the button one we, you gotta we gotta code something like this so we gotta say if um, one, one more thing is you gotta give it to zero of course if you don't give the value if, if you don't initialize the value of a to zero it defaultly gets the value of zero because uh, it's an integer so anyway okay let's come to the button one that is the login button and let's go like if um, yeah forgot to change the names of these text fields uh, let's change the name of these text fields um, let's change this to username text field and let's change the second text box name to password text field okay okay let's go to the login button and now let's uh, code it um, we have to say if username text field dot text equal to my dot settings dot username then we gotta say a plus equal to one and let's give another if statement to test the password text field now so let's say if password text field dot text equal to my dot settings dot password then we gotta increment the value of a by one just like this just like as we did in the register window we are using the same logic there and uh, so if both the username and uh, password are correct then the value of a will be 2 so now it's easy for us to code the rest of the code we, ha we can simply say if a equal to 2 then let's display a message uh, saying that login is successful we can say login successful else we can display that uh, either either the password or username is not valid and let's say this as msg box dot exclamation and this one as msg box dot information perfect now um, that's it now let's run the program uh, click on the start debugging button you can directly tap on the F5 key and here is the register window and uh, yeah let me enter uh, let me create uh, credentials let me say Teja and let me give the password as test pass and let me click on save button so now actually the username and password are saved but I didn't give any other code to the save button so it seems that nothing that nothing have happened so let's go back so let's go back and let's code the register uh, window let's code the save button and we can also say after this we can say um, we can display a message saying that um, register successful and uh, yeah we can say that uh, we can actually open form 2 that is the uh, login form now okay now let's run the program and here is the register window and let me give a default like like, like some test values Teja and test pass save and here we go it says register successful and as soon as you click on ok the form 2 
gets opened up in the window and if you enter the same same values which we, which we you have entered earlier then um, you can see it says login successful if you enter a wrong password like uh, if you enter a wrong password and click on the login button it says that that um, either the password or username field username is not valid okay um, one more thing is we can change the password character like just select the password text field go down scroll down and here in the password care you can give an asterisk or a bullet symbol you can hold alt on 7 on your keyboard and the, and a bullet symbol gets um, appears on your screen and you can do the same with the register window you can change the password character to the bullet symbol and yeah we are done okay now let's change the uh, properties let's go to the application tab application tab and let's set the startup form as form 2 so that uh, whenever the user opens the program the form 2 which is the login form appears on the screen so in the login form let's add something which is um, needed actually um, if the user has not yet register with this program he should have an option to register so let's add a link label and let's call this um, register and when if the user clicks on this thing then we got to show the form one and perfect and we can actually hide this form sorry oops Oh, fuck. okay here we go so let's run the program and here we go this is the login window and uh, yeah if we click on the register label here the register button the register form opens up and you can create a username like let me say techraj and let me call the password as test pass and let's click on the save button and it says register successful and once you click on ok the password i mean the login form appears and if you enter the same values as you entered before if you enter the exact credentials then um just look it says login successful and so this is how you can actually create a login program in Visual Basic and also keep in mind that once the user creates a credentials, creates his, his or credentials, they will be saved on his computer, on his computer permanently. So just keep this in mind and yes, that's all I wanted to teach you in this video tutorial. If you want any more uh, explanation or if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment below in the comment section I'll try to help every one of you who comment below and you can also email me at anonymous hacker 156 at the way gmail.com for any tech queries I will surely help you just leave an email okay yeah thanks for watching Hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techraj156. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techraj156. Visit my website at techraj156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.